Good morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlogs. So if you like this video, come on back tomorrow. We got some things this morning. Most importantly, the very last of our syringes. Oh, the very and, last. The very last of our syringes and needles. So we haven't talked about this, I don't think, but our appointment got pushed back a couple of days, so we didn't have everything we needed to continue medicine for those couple of days. We didn't have to. Like they're definitely going overkill. Like Sarah would like would have stopped at this point with the medicine already, but since we're doing a medical study, we need this last ultrasound with our infertility group. And since the virus, it, it got pushed back, they still want us to keep doing the shots until that last ultrasound, so we had to go back to get more. Right. So we had to run so up this morning that, and, and get then that. Peter ran into Publix and got a couple of things. Look at this. I won't show you the actual syringes, but right there, Sarah Brookar will be by today to pick up this. The last of our syringes for IVF. Yes. I'm going to wipe down all of these things. <laughs> <laughs> we got just some little things. Um, yeah, these delicious things that pastries. Have been That's out for me, not Sarah, don't worry. That um, are good, like good Butter, for diet. That's for cookies. Dumplings. Yeah, guac and guac is good for Sarah. She needs to keep the fat the fatties and proteins going in her. Yes. Cause, you know, cooking. Cooking. So Peter told me I have to confess myself to the vlog. And that means that I saw my friend Lupe get Chipotle delivered, and so then I got Chipotle, Chipotle delivered. Um, I got tacos, Peter got a burrito, um, and then I <laughs> handed Peter, I like showed Peter my debit card, and he flung it and it went perfectly behind the couch. So that's why there's all this clanging around. Did you get it? I feel so vulnerable right now. <laughs> My hair is greasy. I'm disturbing Eve. Oh, she does not care. She's sluggishly walking to her bed right now. She's like, you guys are making too much noise. Oh, yes. Sarah got tacos. I got a burrito. Perks of being a wallflower on. While I eat and finish up my day of work. Oh, yeah. And of course, it's not eating time without a little visitor. Look at this little tiny Tabasco sauce. It came with. Oh, Eve. Eve's here to tell you what to do when your Tuesday is acting and feeling like a Monday. You know what you do? You celebrate the hu great jubilation. Also, asleep. She's resting. Um, I'm gonna go on a run later, but like we don't have any. We didn't talk about what we were doing tonight. But she's been very needy. Oh, she sees outside. <gasps> Who is that girl I see? Oh, someone's tired. So. I got all, I get Eve all riled up. I think I'm gonna go through some clothes because I'm gonna let Sarah sleep for a little bit because it's always good to let her sleep. She's cooking a human, you know. Um, I don't want to go on a run right now because it's been too soon after the Chipotle that I didn't even show you. Oh, Eve's trying to play with me. And it was they offered a double wrap, the tor double tortilla, which I've never had that offer before, and I kind of didn't like it. They made too much tortilla, even though like my burritos need double wrapping because I get a lot of extra stuffs. Um, but I like, like I kept it all together, but it was, that one extra tortilla was a lot. I'm trying to catch Eve, but she knows my tricks to get her close to me. Did you guys know that she play bites with me, but will refuse to play bite with Sarah, which is a good thing, because that's what we're going to have to do with our children. <sighs> got her. She's a wild animal. Did you hear the puppy pup from the Grinch? You heard Max? Since this is still happening, and since this is happening, I'm gonna dive into Bobby's book again. When your 
dog is so convinced there must be cookie left over. I took a snooze. I'm gonna still relax. This little friend is reading. I gotta do my shot. I don't know how this is happening, but I'm enjoying every second of it. I'm a notoriously slow reader. I've been reading for an hour, and I'm on page 17, um, which is actually pretty fast for me. Uh, but I love this excerpt from this part of the book. Bob Iger's talking about watching Jiro Dreams of Sushi, and that's a documentary on Netflix I've been wanting to watch for years. Gotta watch it now. I also use the St. Gerard as um, a bookmark. But we're about to go on a walk. Sarah's gonna show us. I feel ashamed because I accidentally titled the, the vlog from yesterday Mario Kart with a C. And Sean, our friend Sean, called, <laughs> called us out on Twitter, and I was like, Sarah, you spelled it wrong. I'm sorry, I'm new. To video games. We're going to do our shot, and we're going to take Eve out for a little walk, and she's going to show me where she was pacing um, while talking to our now landlord before this was our apartment. It is super nice out. It's like just under 80 degrees. And we're in like more of like the neighborhoody area. It's nice. Yeah, yeah. Eve's loving it. Well... After about half mile or so, she did better no, than I, I think, thought. I think it was longer than a half mile. She's given up. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm carrying her back. <laughs> this girl walked so far with her thick hair. You and me both, girl. We both need haircuts. Five bucks says within ten minutes this girl is knocked out. Now, a question for you: What do you want to watch? Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Do you want to watch that, or do you want to give this sushi thing a whirl? Bob Iger loves it. I have it. no idea what it's about, though. We can watch the trailer and see if, if it tickles our fancy. Okay. Shake it out. Oh, gosh. Florida's a buggy place to be, huh? Huh. I tell you, she's going to have a hard time when the parks open back up and we leave in the evenings again. She's going to have a rough transitional period. All right, for all the Netflix users, Bobby Boy himself, Bob Iger, former CEO, current executive chairman of the Disney board, Loves this guy, he ate there with some executives and watched this documentary and loved it. So we're gonna give it a world. Okay, one, we're getting eat sushi, eat so high, deep fried sushi burritos soon. <laughs> but two, how many pieces of sushi has this man made in his entire life? And he's still at 94 or something like that, still working there today. But it's not open to the public anymore. Yeah, I wonder we, if the second restaurant is. Probably, his sons, his second sons. We gotta finish watching it. That was really good. What was it called? Geo Dreams of Sushi? Yes. On Netflix. It's nine years old, the documentary itself. And. But you should watch it. Yeah. It's only an hour and 20 minutes. Yeah. It's so good. We're thinking of what we're going to watch next. What do you think, Peter? Yeah. Just. We're just going to peruse a little. This actually might be my favorite show of all time. I think it's going to be a lot of people's favorite show of all time. Um. They premiered the season, actually the series finale tonight. If you follow any of the cast on social media, they're posting all sorts of amazing things. But we are just, we've been like, I feel like we've been taking it slow with this show. Trying to savor it. Because we want to savor it and we still have one last season. But I don't know when it's going to be on Netflix. I know it's on YouTube TV. But we, we don't have we YouTube don't TV have YouTube. YouTube premiere. Yeah. Premium. Yeah. So it might be streaming on other services. Maybe we have access to. I don't. Know. We'll, we'll find it. I want to point out the line here that Bob likes about it. They like the embodiment of the Japanese word shokunin, which is the endless pursuit of perfection for some greater good. That's what Bobby Bob fell in love with. He may have just figured it out. Pop TV is owned by CBS. I keep on thinking that Peter's saying CBS. But it's CBS, and so with my dear mother's login, we could get the app and log in and watch. Does anybody know anybody who spells their first or last name with the letter V, and they 
without fail, when they get to that, say V is in Victor, I'm looking at you, Dom. Just when you think the pup is utterly exhausted, she perches herself on the couch on this pillow to be hand-fed chips by this lady. Not a lot, and it's just potatoes and salt. Plain chips. Please, sir, I'm gonna have some more. <laughs> All right, um, Sarah's doing something unheard of, and we're stopping mid-episode. It just started. Also, I'm hungry, and I don't want to eat again for the thousandth time today, so I just want to go to bed. It is late. It's past midnight, so I'm going to do a sign-off. But uh, any Legend of Zelda fans out there kicking that game's behind. <laughs> it's also a game from copyright 1991, so take that as you be. You're from copyright 91. It's true. I was born in 1991. I so. was born in 1992. Ooh, look at... Uh-huh, I'm older than Sarah. Doing a backbend. All right, tomorrow's Wednesday. Hump day. What up? And... <laughs> That is my wife making fun of me without saying a single word. <laughs> Just taking joy in what you said. Well, now I have nothing else to say except for tell you Sarah's stomach like to quiet it. <laughs> Alright, here we are at the message because Sarah also pointed out that I haven't done the message in days, which I think is a fallacy. So it is Tuesday the 7th. <laughs> Sarah's making faith. She's punching her hand like she's gonna beat me up. Um, I'm trying to look at these. Oh, I definitely haven't done this in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I did Michael Asler's. The bad news time, but the bad news is time flies. The good news, wait, maybe I didn't say that one. I don't remember any of these. Was I doing the wrong month when I flipped it up? Dr. Seuss, Rex. Okay, no. So today's is by Dr. Wayne Dyer. You do not attract what you want. You attract what you are. Ooh. Love it. Hi, guys. My name's Pete. My name's SMR. <laughs> That's my old initials. I have never called myself SMB. <laughs> Did I ever call myself SMB? <laughs> Okay, we need to go to bed. I used to call we myself to go, SMR. We need to go to bed. And if you this put, is not listen, a, a, listen. a 1998 AIM conversation. Listen. If you put an SMR, A... SMR, M18. <laughs> if you put an A... What's my, what's my away's message? Royal blue background, white font, comic sans. <laughs> if you put an A after every one of my initials, it spells out Samara like the girl from the ring. She's been waiting two and a half years of daily vlogging to say that, I think. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.